Now with new details on a homicide investigation. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Monica Garcia. The long agonizing nightmare for a Tucson family is over after a suspect and their teenage son's murder has been identified six years after he was shot and killed on the south side. But it's not exactly the outcome the family was hoping for. As News for Tucson's Gabrielle Parrish tells us, the man responsible for their son's death is also dead. You join us live from the south side with what police have uncovered. Gabrielle. As a matter of fact, Monica, that's right. But in a second, I'll have more on how his killer died. But first, the park behind me is where Tucson police say 15 year old Eric Nanez was shot. Over here is where Eric's father tells me his son took his last breath. This is an old mug shot of Ed Sells Cincinna Marquez. Police tell us he shot and killed Eric Nanez in 2019. It took them nearly five years to solve his homicide, but it only happened after they were investigating another homicide involving Nanez's alleged killer. Police say Cincinna Marquez got into an altercation with someone in 2021 and died after being shot. Through DNA technology, they were able to link him to the death of Eric's murder. I spoke with his father today and Eric's father tells me that Cincinna Marquez knew his son as they went to middle school together. I'm relieved that justice was served, but at the same time, um, I just, um, I'd rather see the guy behind bars, but it, unfortunately that won't happen. But. Coming up at five, hear from a neighbor who remembers what happened during the shooting and more from Eric's father at five. Reporting live from the South Side, Gabrielle Parrish, News 4 Tucson.